Hello everybody and welcome to Pumpkin Days. Now this is a game by Pumpkin Interactive. Um, it's a game that I've been following for a fair old while. And I'm pleased to say that the developer of this game is actually uh, Momo, who is one of the sort of community members and will occasionally pop up in streams and things like that. So you may actually recognize her. Sometimes goes under the handle of Pumpkin Days on streams as well. Um, but so uh, yes, I'm very, very pleased to be showing this game off. Um, and let's just jump in, shall we? So I've, I've spent some time just having a, making sure it works, you know. <clears throat> do we want to start a new game? Yes, we do. Attention all passengers. We're approaching the island. Please collect all of your belongings before leaving the ship. Okay, so this is the character creator. And uh, I, I think, think, actually, it's quite nice this one because you can be a boy or a girl so if you want to be like you know or anything in between so there is no particular um no particular gender in this you can just be what you want which is really really nice i know a lot of people really do appreciate that so not about whether you're a girl or a boy it's about just what you want to look like so I will probably go towards the more feminine because that is what I am. I might bring the weight down just a touch. We're gonna be we're gonna be she lab again. Hope hopefully it'll let me be she lab again. I might have to be Lady She Lab because I've already used the She Lab name. Um, I think that's about the right kind of colour for me. That could be silver and oh whoa! No that that's that's Avax colour. <laughs> That's more my colour. <laughs> Avak is like a it's like a ghost. He's like a ghost. Let me bring the gut down a little so I can just get that little hourglassy thing going in. Probably I'm not as muscly as that. It's probably a reasonable. Ish. Representation of me. And then I put some clothes on me. I can have a dress if I want a dress. I don't know that I'm too keen on the dresses in this. So yeah. I think, especially because the shoes are a little clumpy, I actually think they go a bit better with the dungarees. Red dungarees and pink dungarees? Uh, brown dungarees. If the dress was actually that style, I would probably go for it, but it's not. So I think I'll go for the blue dungarees. And you can have all sorts of different eyes. You can have really scary ones too. You can just have these ones and look like, I don't know, Doug or something. Do you remember, I don't remember Doug. He used to have eyes like that. It was a cartoon. The standard, very smug, pleased with yourself anime face eyes. Tired eyes. Angry eyes. Surprised eyes. Weird glowy eyes. Mm -hmm. Even stranger eyes. Evil eyes. Alien eyes. <laughs> I'll probably just go for something fairly standard. <laughs> Whoa! Eyes. Those are quite nice. In colour of blue or purple. Colour of purple. Everything has to be purple. I don't want the mouth to be a little bit more like full than that. Like, something like that, maybe. Well, that's a happy face. A kind of gurry face. Scary. See, this this seems to be the fashion nowadays. Garden Paws is like this. It's got all these weird, scary emoji-style faces. The I'm still teething mouth. The I had a tooth knocked out mouth. The I am an anime cat girl mouth. No, sorry, I am a cheeky anime cat girl mouth. So I'll probably go with something a little more normal. I 
honestly think one of the best ones here is actually the nice happy mouth. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Right, okay, next. Cheeks. That was nice blushy cheeks. Aw, those are cute. Those are quite cute too. I can have like all the different decks of cards on my face. I can have a random scar. I can just walk around with like a bleeding scar. Like I've constantly just been cut across the face. Hmm. Smiley face. The plaster. Well, you know, the plaster's better than the gaping wound, I suppose. I'll probably just go with some cute freckles or something, or like. I mean, that's like chicken pox. <laughs> There's some, like, some cute freckles. Should we have some cute freckles? Mind you, that's not how my freckles end up, just on my cheeks. I think I might just go with the little cute blushies. You know, match my rosacea. <laughs> right, anyway. I don't know. I don't actually really have a rosacea. Well, maybe a touch, but. No more than anyone else. Oh, I could have a beauty spot. Actually, the beauty spot looks better. Let's go with that. Chin. That is all beards. So. You could actually have a girl with a beard if you want. Again, you can do whatever you like. I personally am incapable of growing a beard. I will therefore not give myself a beard. You don't have to match the hair colour though. You can just go with what- you could have a giant purple beard. Okay. Right now, I will let you know this, as, this piece of advice for free. Whatever you choose here, your character will do every time they are slightly idle. Okay? So I was like, oh I'm gonna be goofy. So my character literally walked around like that the entire time. This is how they're gonna walk. This is how they're gonna stand. So you gotta go to make this really... I just be cool all the time. Confident. Confident isn't too bad. Idle isn't too bad. Anxious is gonna be annoying. I'm gonna just go with idle, cause... Yeah. Liked recipe cookies. Always cookies. It's always going to be cookies. Unless there's chocolate. I don't think there is. No, there's no chocolate. You can have your favourite be alcohol though. <gasps> My birthday is summer. The 8th of summer. Not yet. I have not done the hair. How can I have not done the hair? The hair firstly... What? No hair colours. What? Oh, maybe I have to choose one first. That's quite cute. That's quite cute. I like. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it purple. Some nice blue shades as well. That's a really nice night blue. I like that. Oh, what else have we got? That's quite cute. No, actually I'm not too keen on that one. That's how my hair looks right now, because I let it naturally dry. Yeah. <laughs> but my hair doesn't even look that good. Um, <clears throat> those are quite sweet. If you like the whole sear cover half your face look. I actually do like that one. It was kind of cool. So I think this is another game where they've been taking like... Um, Hairstyle advice from like Goku. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z hair. Oh yeah, that's proper Goku hair. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's quite. That's quite tame. Oh, that's quite cute. I have to look at all of them. That's nice. I like that. That's very Japanesey. I kind of like that one actually. I like the cute little bit around her ear. Which 
one so that's that one that one's got a kind of um girl from the ring look about it <laughs> this one a little bun oh, cute. a tidy bun oh, that's quite nice oh i quite like that one too There's some bunchies. Side pony. That's cool. Those are cool. That's quite cute. No, I think I'm gonna go with this one. That's me now. Okay. I think we're done. Am I done creating my character? Yes. Now we get another choice. We can either go to Pumpkin Vale, the river town, or we can go to Wahoo Beach, a tropical paradise. Mm. I'm like kind of fancying, I went to Pumpkin Vale before, I'm kind of fancying the tropical paradise. So yes, let's go to Wahoo Beach. And see what that's all about. I'm gonna take a drink as well. Okay, so it's going to go through all of the controls first. So, scrolling my wheel to adjust the camera. Ah, uh, okay, <laughs> apparently I did whatever that one was. Right click and hold to turn. Q and E to strafe. Escape to get to the main menu. Game menu, even. Or main menu, whatever you want to call it. Hello, Melanie. Let's say hello to Melanie. You must be Shelab. I'm Melanie, the secretary, and I was sent to greet you. You don't look like much of a farmer to me. Well, I am one just because my hair's down right now. I suppose we cannot be picky if we want to meet our export demands. I suppose you will do. Here's a map to assist you in getting around the town. When you're done looking at the map, come to the mayor's office immediately to get your farm deed. Do not keep us waiting. Oh, she's a she's a serious one. Like they're very friendly in Pumpkin Vale over here. They're like, Rrr. it's very pretty, isn't it? I actually like this map a little better, I think, than the pumpkin one. Yeah, I do like it a little bit better. I should look at my map. Oh, I have to do exactly what I'm told. That sucks. So you've got the beach and the hill farm plots. That hill farm plot look. Is, oh no, it looks like most of the, the town is on these like... Yeah, so the beach farm plot might be one of the closer ones. There's a bar, a grill, jewellery, flower shop. And I think you've got a whole different set of people on the two different maps. So I may have to even do both maps just to meet everybody. I don't know, there might be travel between them. Oh look, see this is the map of Pumpkin Vale. And this is the world. Oh, good grief, look. Spoony Island. Not entirely sure how PC that is. Oh, I'm supposed to go see Melanie first. Let's just do what it tells me, rather than run around like... Like someone who doesn't do what she's told, like a rebel. Okay. Well done. You, peasant. <laughs> I'm Melanie, secretary to Mayor King. I keep Wahoo Beach running as it does, and I will not have you disrupt that. Understood? Gosh, she's seriously mean. Now go attend to your tasks at once. Well, you told me to come see you. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. Well, look at who's here. The new farmer, I take it, right? Welcome to Wahoo Beach, young buck. My name is Mayor Lamont, and I run this here town. Oh, he's much nicer. Now, I'm sure you're eager to get started, so let me get that property voucher for your new land. Yay, I got a property voucher. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and pick which plot you want now. Oh, I'm glad that I had a look because I wanted the beach lot, didn't I? 
Beach Hill or Beach Front. Ooh. We'll go with Beach Front. And we're gonna call it we'll call it Dreamweb, because I always call it Dreamweb, because that's what that's what it is. That's where I'm, that's why the Shelab spider goes to sleep and dream. Right. Nice choice. So the payment's only a thousand gold for that there lot. But you can take your time with the payment. You can go to the post office on the shore and there's an ATM where you can pay off your debt. In fact, there's quite a bit you're going to need to learn, right? I'm going to give you a pocket journal where you can keep track of everything you need. I'll also write down some townsfolk you should see who could teach you what you're going to need to know around here. Who can teach you what you need to know around there. I'm also giving you a bed and some other things to start off with. Pretty sweet deal, right? One more thing, young buck, your farming quota. I'll send you a letter on the first of each month with some items we need shipped for that month. For each item you complete, I'll send a bonus payment for them. So we should do those if we can. So keep a look out for that tomorrow, you hear? Alright, so you get it on the second on the first day, I guess. Hopefully if we increase our exports, we can help keep that darn jounce corp off, our, off this island. Oh, I see. So they have to keep up or they'll get taken over. The worst, I tell you what. Sorry, a bit off topic there. Don't go off wandering too far before you ship some produce and see those town folks, you hear? Hurry along now. I'm liking this little storyline as well. Go to my farm, visit the post office, go to my farm and talk to Eugene, and visit the local farm shop. Blacksmith, home improvement shop, furniture shop, local restaurant, local ranch. Visit the furniture store again. Did we already? Oh yeah. <laughs> Visit the home improvement shop. Find Ikea on the beach. Alright, well we'll go to my farm first, because that's the first thing on the journal. So let's go to the map and see which one I actually bought. Which one did I buy? I forgot which one I bought. I think it was the beach farm plot. I'm pretty sure that's which one it was. So where am I? I am just outside the mayor's office. So we need to go down here and across the other beach. Okay. I love this map. I think this map's really cool. I'm glad I chose this one because it's a bit more interesting than Pumpkin Vale, I feel, at the moment, anyway. I'm sure there's... I do feel that this this platform is rather sea level. <laughs> it probably gets flooded every time, unless it's a high tide. So we'll go to the farm first and we'll just check things out and then we'll just go around the, the village and go and speak to people. What's this on the ground? It's a coconut! Can I pick it up? Um, didn't give me an interact thing. Can I, can I click on it? I can click on it! Left click there. That seems to work. It looks like my farm plot's just over here a little bit. Oh, picking up the coconuts. I bet I can sell them somewhere. I'm going to pick up this driftwood. No, that's just there to be in my way. This is my farm here. Well, there's a dude stood there, and there's like a house. I think this is my my farm. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Eugene. Excuse me. What are you doing? Are you actually attempting to be a farmer? That's preposterous. Someone like you could never understand the horticultural science necessarily to, necessary to properly farm. Let's get one thing straight. I, Eugene, am Wahoo Beach's top farmer. And you are a nobody. Everyone's so nice to me here. The only person that's been nice to me so far is the mayor. Alright, listen up, noob. Because I'm only going to explain this once. Farming is a serious business and must be done with care and precision. The whole island depends on us to provide them quality produce and I won't have you messing anything up. I'm going to give you some seeds, a hoe, and a shovel. Plant those seeds in the plots you dig with your hoe. Then I want you to water the seeds you planted and dig up those dead plants over there. 
If you can't figure that out, you have no business calling yourself a farmer. Come talk to me when you're done, or I guess if you need me to repeat myself. No. I have some spinach seeds in my inventory. Okay, I'm gonna drag them down to my hot bar. Be there. And then I'm gonna put my my hoe, my shovel, my watering can, that well over there, my bed, and my chest. And I'll leave the coconuts in there. Okay. So first thing I want is two to get my spade open. We just dig up these plants. Uh, there we are. Then I'm gonna get my hoe. So you can also click on it and click equip, or you can just press one, two, whatever, whatever you decide to do. I'll probably change it all the time because you know what I'm like. Yeah, so I've dug two plots there. I also have my spinach seeds. Put them down. One. Two. And then I imagine I want to water them. I think my watering can has some water in to start with. I do find that that's a very, very... I think a darker brown might be better than the black there. I might just feed that back. Because, uh... That doesn't look very soily to me. That looks almost like it's coal coloured or something. Okay. I did it, Eugene. Don't be so proud of yourself, Brainiac. That was all extremely basic. I'm not proud of myself. It took me two seconds. Shut up. <laughs> you need to water your crops once a day. You have to look at the colour of the soil to see if they need water or not. Well, that's pretty obvious because it's brown or black. So that's, at least it is very obvious. I mean, sometimes they don't do enough to make it different. But I think here, I think maybe a slightly different colour would be better. Okay. Dark soil means it's watered. Light soil means it needs water. If you don't water them, they'll die. If you plant them in the wrong season, they'll die. If the season changes and they don't grow in that season, they'll die. Masika's shop sells seeds, so you should talk to her if you haven't already. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll give you some extra seeds and a sickle because your farm looks like an absolute trash right now. <laughs> oh, and you'll probably be growing a lot of fruit trees because that's what grows best here. Oh, interesting. So the different maps have different uh, things that grow better. You'll need to use a fruit picker to harvest crops from the trees and you can use that sickle to clear out all the weeds. Don't embarrass me, Brainiac. I'll be checking up on you to make sure you're farming things properly. Sugar cane seed? Well, there's definitely very, very different things to grow here. That's really cool. Okay, so I've got a fruit picker and a wooden sickle. So I have completed the go to my farm quest. So we could tidy the farm up a little bit, use some of my stamina. I, I'm not seeing any fruit on these trees that are already here. So they may not be fruit trees. Anyway, I'm going to need my sickle on my hot bar as well. And the fruit picker. So let's, there is, it looks like there is durability on these items as well. So we could do with maybe um, planting the sugar cane to start with. That's my uh, watering can water level by the looks of it. So we could do a little bit of, um, oh, I need an axe to chop it. Oh, right. So to start with, the only thing I can really clear out at the mo, the moment, is all this um, grass. But I will do that. I'll do a little bit of grass cleaning. I'm, looking, I'm getting a little bit out of breath now. So I may need to just... Um... Right, let's go and just plant this sugar cane, shall we? <clears throat> I'll make a different like, little... I wouldn't hoe out. I'll make it in a, like a little different row there. And there will be good. I don't know what the watering patterns are yet, so I just play it by ear, I guess. You seem to be able to water in whatever order you want as well. There we are, as the starts of my farm. I've started to clean up some of the grass, but I've run out of stamina a little bit. So I would say that probably the best thing to do for the rest of the day 
is to pop along to do the rest of my quests. So the next one is to visit the post office. Let's go see where the post office is. Post office is over the other side of the beach. Okay. Go see who's down there. Whether they're going to be horrible to me too. Oh, more coconuts to pick up. I wonder if that takes a bit, probably takes a bit of stamina. Probably not too much, but I wonder if I can sell the coconuts I find on the beach. I can't stop. I'm like a coconut hoarder. Sometimes you have to be at the right angle, seemingly. Well, I like this, like, especially if I keep playing this going on into the autumn time, I'm gonna feel like I'm on my little tropical paradise. Which is always cool. But let's face it, we have about three, four weeks max summer left. No, it's the 6th of August, like three weeks. Next week's gonna rain. Might get a tiny bit of nice weather in September, and then it's gonna be like autumn time, typhoons. You know it, I know it. Oh, this bridge! Oh, they've done such a nice job on this map. I really prefer this to Pumpkin Vale a lot. I think I definitely, definitely like. I think the buildings fit in with the uh, the beach a lot nicer than they do. All right, there's Ash. Mm -hmm. Do I know you, buddy? Oh, sorry, no, I'm just a little stressed out. Know how that feels. I'm Ash, I work at the post office sorting letters. So many letters. The mayor asked me to explain how you can get your mail. When you're ready, talk to me. Alright then. Alright, buddy, so this is the post office. Obviously. You get your mail here. Obviously. You can check your mail at the community mailbox right outside the building. Make sure you check it often so I don't have to deal with any kind of overflow. Also, we have an ATM inside the post office which you can use to pay off any debts you have. Make sure you pay off anything you owe or you won't get permission to build new things on your farm. That's about it, buddy. Good luck with the farm and whatnot. Alright, cool. So we have to pay off our debts at the ATM. And we have money, so how, how do I see how much money I have? I have 50 at the moment, so I'm going to need that to probably to buy seeds and things. And then as I get a bit richer, and I grow some crops and stuff, then everything will be a little bit nicer. So, like ladders and stuff, can I go up ladders? Doesn't seem like I can. That could just be me. Hello, Zarita, how are you? I want to chat to you. Again? Are you here to deliver the new shipment? Took you long enough. You're not? Well, how were you gonna get. So, how long were you gonna let me talk? It's not very nice. Fine, I guess I'm Zarita. I run the Saturday marketplace and junk. Every Saturday I ship in things from out of town, so you better come visit me. It's not nice to keep a lady waiting. Alright, Zarita. Gosh. I best put my bed down because it's getting kind of dark now, isn't it? It's six o'clock. So what's my next thing on my journal? Go to the local farm shop. That's just round here. We could do that first, I think. I'm pressing shift, there is actually no sprint with shift at all. I like that it just auto saves for me, that's always a nice thing. Especially with early access games, so there's a chance they might crash. Farm shop seems to be this one. Hello, Masika. Hi, Scrub. Did she say hi, sp Sprout or Scrub? I couldn't quite hear that. <laughs> Imagine if she went hi, Scrub. Gosh, I don't think we've met before. My name is Masika. I'm one of the farmers in Wahoo Beach. If you're looking for some amazingly fresh tropical produce, I'm your girl. 
Oh yeah, the mayor wants me to tell you about growing seeds. Just talk to me when you're ready. I shall, because I think you might be who I buy the seeds off as well. So you'll want to stop by my farm shop to buy seeds. The seeds available rotate out every day because sometimes I use them for myself or I sell them. So make sure you buy up any seeds that you want to grow while I have it in stock. Most of the seeds I sell are tree seeds because that's what mostly grows on this part of the island. Trees take much longer to grow, take up more space. Well, that's about it. I guess we'll be seeing each other pretty often. Cool. How are you doing? Crops don't sell for much, but the town needs the extra money. Le Mayor Lamont and Melanie are dealing with a lot of legal fees to keep that new Jounce factory off our island. So how much are these? That's all my money. Lychee is less. Breadfruit is less. Very large and round seeds that are dark brown in colour takes 28 days to grow and makes breadfruits in the spring and summer. Can only grow in Wahoo Beach. So I'm kind of thinking that I may leave... Well, I may... Leave the trees until I have a tiny bit more money because it's going to take 28 days to get anything back from it. For all of them. So in the meantime, dragon fruit tree, 84 days to grow. Wow. I mean, I, I need to grow the start growing these as soon as I can, but I do need... It doesn't tell me how long it takes for spinach to grow. Well, we can do, like, papayas, cucumbers, all that sort of thing. But I don't know yet, and I think I might wait till tomorrow so that I know what I'm spending my money because I've only got 50. I know what I'm spending my money on because I there's going to be something that will be the uh, oh no 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 stop doing that I'm going to have to get used to the fact that escape doesn't just automatically take me out of the menu and then another escape to bring me into the main menu it is literally leave have a nice day you have to be really specific about it so I think what I will do is I'll wait till the morning and see if I get some post or whatever telling me exactly what I need to do so visit the local blacksmith they may be shut by now so it might be best for me to go back to my bed put my bed down and go to sleep for the night maybe until sort of seven or eight o'clock tomorrow I'm probably running through someone's garden right now. Shh. Oh, we can have a look at what the, lo the wildlife in here is like. Oh, look. They're very nice. They're very nice. I like the sheeps, actually. I like there's a couple of different types of cow as well. Okay, question is, can I jump over my fence? Yes, I can. Well, that's good stuff. So we'll just get my um, stamina back. And then maybe spend a little bit of the early part of the day tomorrow cleaning up a bit more of the farm. Water my crops, all that sort of stuff. I need to put this bed down somewhere. L to rotate. Oh, yeah, that straightens it up a little. Put it in the middle there, I think. And then I've got like a chest I can put down at the, maybe the, at the foot of my bed. Ah. Oh, so when I go inside my house, it's, it's daylight all of a sudden. I see. Well, that's extremely um, wonky, isn't it? Let's see if I can make it any less wonky. Ah, press escape again. Sorry, I will be doing that a lot. what I might do put it there <laughs> that's just a bit easier okay sleep how many hours should I sleep well at the moment that would have me waking up at four in the morning which is ridiculous It'd be better if I could wake up at about six or seven maybe we'll just sleep for ten hours then things will be more open 
Okay, so this is good. About seven o'clock in the morning. Everything's all light and bright again. Yay! Oh, I really love this map. Did I tell you I love this map? I'm glad I chose this one. Even if it does have loads of trees that are going to take me forever to get sorted out. Okay, so I need to water my crops. My, my couple of little crops that I've got there. Wonderful and lovely. Okay, so the next thing I can do is a little bit of... Uh, no, I'm going to go and see what seeds I need to plant for my, uh, my, my thing. Okay. So I get the impression here that the days are not very long. Um, and you can spend quite a bit of time sleeping. But it will take quite a few days for your crops to grow. So it seems to be sort of... Yeah, I've received something in the mail. So that 8 o'clock mail comes in. And if I want to pass any time because things aren't open or whatever, I can just sleep. So we head off to the post office. And uh, hopefully it will tell us what crops we need to try and aim for this, this season. I don't know if there's a calendar or anything that I can look at. I don't know how many days are actually in a season. I mean, it looks to me like it's probably 28 because that's how long all the trees take to grow. So that would be, that's just a guess, but, whoop, clicked outside the window. I've got it in borderless windowed mode at the moment. Potato, spinach, jalapeno, sugarcane, lentil, cucumber, chicken, egg, and milk. Okay, so does that come up in my journal anywhere? Oh, it doesn't. I've got to keep coming back here and checking it. Mm. Right, so I'm definitely going to need like somewhere to write it down. Oh, I have more mail. Okay. Uh, don't forget to rest. Hello, dear. I hope you're doing well at your new home. How's the beach? I bet it's amazing. I know you're probably running around doing things, but make sure you sleep every once in a while. If you don't rest, you'll collapse from exhaustion. Just take care of yourself, dear, from Nana. We had a nice rest last night. Potato, spinach, jalapeno, sugar cane. We've already got sugar cane going. Lentils, cucumber, chicken, egg, and milk. Well, we don't have any um, animals yet. But we could buy potato, spinach. We've got spinach already. I don't know how many you get from each seed you plant. So it might be better for going for things like... Uh, we've already got sugar cane and spinach planted. So jalapeno, potato, lentil, cucumber. Jalapeno, potato, lentil, cucumber. There's nothing that needs to come off a tree on that uh, quota, but I'll definitely be trying to grow some fruit trees. I don't know whether the trees are already growing in my in my patch are, are good ones or not. Let's see if she's in. Hey, Masika, how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> you just have to show me around your farm sometimes, Sprout. Oh, she does call me Sprout. I can't wait to see what you're doing with it. All right then. Okay. Uh, need anything? I forgot to return this. Uh, thing to Eugene. Can you return it? Sure. Thanks. Let's buy and sell. Let's, let's, let's see if we can get maybe, possibly. Or was it cucumber? Oh, I forgot now. Cucumber. Oh, they were all here yesterday, of course. Potato. There's no potato there. Jalapeno. There's no jalapeno, and there was something else which I don't think is there either. Oh, hang on, no, these are all... Oh, these are all... I'm being so dumb. These are all the actual fruits. So the only... What? Ah, okay. I was being so silly yesterday when I looked at it. Five days grows in Wahoo Beach. 
a lime tree, sugarcane seeds, mango, dragon fruit, pecan, likey. You buy them for two as well. So really, if it's going to take 28 days to grow, I want something that will maybe... Spring and summer. Spring and summer. Spring and summer. Spring and summer. So I'm only going to get one season out of it until next year. Interesting. So I think that honestly just buying quite a bit of spinach at the moment would be a good idea. So maybe if we just buy like another five or so spinach. So it'll take five days so I can grow other things in the meantime. Can I sell fodder? How does selling work? So I can sell the fodder at the moment if I want to. And I'll be able to get enough money for a bit more seeds. I'll be able to get 40 gold for the fodder that I've got there. Which would double my stuff. Yeah, okay. There might be other things I need though, because I haven't seen everybody yet. So I've got my spinach seeds, so I'll be able to just plant like another five of those. Which will be fantastic. So we'll just leave it at that for now. Thanks. I'll go plant those. So just be very, be very careful about these things. Okay. So I'm gonna go and see. I mean, I haven't I've barely gotten through anything. I feel like, but you know, we've seen, we've worked out our post. We've worked out planting. We've worked out cleaning out the, the farm plot a little bit. Um, so who's next? The blacksmith. Home improvement, furniture, restaurant, ranch. See all these things. Oh, delivery for Eugene. Oh, we'll have to find Eugene then. I wonder if I can see him on the map at all. Okay, so if I click on it on the journal, it looks like it gives me a little map marker. So I can actually go and find Eugene. Maybe I'll just do that as my last little thing. Go find Eugene. Because I might be able to take quests from people and make money that way. Oh, it looks like I've got a marker up there. Thank you, game. You're giving me lots of ways to find the things I need to find because I really struggle with directions. Whee! Oh, look at Eugene's massive farm. Good grief. No wonder he's like so... Oh, and he's got this little banana trees and stuff. Are they banana or plantain or something like that? I don't know what they are actually. I'll probably find out though. There's so many different random trees though. I, what, that's not what I want in my farm. I want them to be very like organized, like a little orchard. Thank you. You're finally back. I calculated you should have been done much sooner. Still, one ought to be rewarded for a job completed. Here. Friendship plus five and forty gold. Nice. Well, that'll allow me to buy an entire fruit tree. Yes, let's keep going, doing missions for people. Yeah. Okay, Eugene. So I guess everyone's horrible to you until you're friend friendly or whatever. Do you need something, Brainiac? If Casey spent a little more time studying, a little less time with his nose buried in trashy novels, perhaps he could become more than just a librarian. Friendship plus two. Of course, your ability can be calculated down to the swing. I can tell with a zero. Point zero 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 one percent chance of error when it's time to replace mine. I'll just do it when the green bar goes down. <laughs> Seems good, right? Oh gosh, look! All of them have little names! Milkshake and Mood and Oswald the Pig and Bacchus the Sheep and Scary the Chicken. Earl and Diesel. Diesel, what a good name for a cow. 
Mudonna. <laughs> Bartholomew. Oh, this game likes puns like I like puns. Yay! I'm very happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my farm. And, uh... Probably next episode we'll do a bit more cleaning out. We'll try and work out what these trees are. They're really, they're really huge and they're really in the way and they're not in nice little neat rows. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with them, whether they're going to end up being cut down or something. But um, yeah, I want all my trees in, in rows. I want it to look like a proper little farm. So that's what will happen. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more pumpkin days, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.